Hey guys, Tanner Marine here with another Semper Sundays today, talking about a private first class Oscar P. Austin. Um, he was a Marine. Uh, that was, I mean, he was young. He was only uh, he was only twenty years old, um, and he was with two seven second battalion seventh Marines. Um, he was an assistant machine gunner with them, and. He was serving in Vietnam. Um, in the early morning of February um, 23rd of 1969, um, PFC Austin was on post, you know, doing fire watch, basically. And when his post started getting hit with, um, and just his base in general started getting hit with uh, a very intense ground attack by the North Vietnamese. Um, and these guys were using everything. They had hand grenades. They were using satchel charges. They were using their rifles. They were using a little bit of everything. Um, and during this, during the fighting, PFC Austin noticed that one of his Marines, one of his buds, had been hit, and basically he'd gone unconscious um, due to his wound, probably due to blood loss, I imagine. And the position that this guy was in, wherever he fell unconscious at, was incredibly exposed to enemy fire. And any Vietnamese that noticed this guy could have put another couple rounds into him to ensure that he was dead. Um, and knowing this, knowing that uh, this guy was going to die if he didn't do something, uh, PFC Austin left the, the safety, more or less, of where he was in his, his fighting position. His dog... Uh, the fuck's term I'm looking for. I don't know. Fighting hole. Let's call it that. And um, leaving that safety, he ran across a basically open area that was be constantly being swept by enemy fire. And uh, and he ran to get to this Marine to, to try to get him out of that situation. And as he got close to this Marine, he saw that the uh, Vietnamese soldier had chucked a grenade um, at the both of them and landed right near the, the Marine that he was trying to get to. Um, and quickly with, you know, a complete disregard for, for his own safety, he jumped between that Marine and the grenade. And, um, just in time for him to take the majority of the explosion. And in doing so, he saved that Marine. Um, but that grenade didn't kill him. Uh, he completely ignored his own wounds, you know, the absolute pain he must have been in with all that shrapnel, the concussion, the heat from that thing, um, and ignoring those, he turned and he started providing medical attention to the Marine that he went out there to help. And as he did this, he saw that another Vietnamese soldier was pointing a rifle at the unconscious Marine that he was trying to help. And then, again, with complete disregard for himself, he threw himself once again between death and this Marine, and he ended up taking the, the rounds that were intended for the wounded Marine, the, the unconscious Marine, and PFC Austin took those rounds um, and was killed. Now, if you can honestly say it, there's <laughs> any other way to show your love for somebody. I don't think, I don't think anything can really compare to, you know, to this sort of situation. Two times, you know, this dude. Two times in a matter of minutes, this dude put himself between, you know, put. He blocked death from that marine. How's that? Um, and that's love, absolute love right there. And uh, because of that, he obviously he received the Medal of Honor. Um, all these guys that I'm doing December Sunday's Sunday's honor, you have received the Medal of Honor for, for what they did. And, uh, man, if anybody deserves it, uh, it's this guy right here. That's, uh, that's for sure. So, yeah, all right, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up. And I will see you in the next one. Super five.